hometown, hometown, Kaneohe, Hawaii. Um, I'm right at the uh, right at the halfway mark of the uh, the century, so I'm at, at that 50. And of course, my alma mater is UNC. I'm a bear, blue boot. Carl's great for a number of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, he's a good person. He's passionate about what he's doing. He's an alum. He's played here, uh, returning here to uh, you know maybe put his final stamp on the on the collegiate baseball situation at hand. He's coached from junior colleges in California to Division threes in Texas. Now kind of coming back a home away from home for him. Uh, it's just the right place and the right fit. Like I said, he's passionate, and uh, not only does he care about what's going on on the field, but he's highly passionate about you know the kids that come through this program as well. All right, I grew up in Hawaii, Honolulu, Hawaii. Went to high school at Punahou High School, um, 18 years, and then came here to the university uh, for my degree as well as uh, to play. Um, yeah, and moved back for a few years uh, after graduating from UNC. Um, uh, got got into the the baseball business through professional baseball. We had a winter league in 1994 that opened up and had a chance to work a dream job, which was a uh, general manager of the Honolulu Sharks. For me, it was education. Uh, my father's a doctor, my father's a dentist, my brother's a dentist. He, he took the pressure off me. He decided to be a doctor. My mother's a first grade teacher. And I said, I'm going to Northern Colorado to, to learn how basically get my teaching degree and also be a coach. You know, uh, I love the game, I respect the game. I'm so fortunate to be able to teach the game. I don't consider myself a coach. I consider myself a teacher first and a coach second to play. I was a catcher. Okay. I was a catcher through uh, Little League all the way through college to my last game on this field right behind me. I was a catcher. Also played a little third base, but uh, I really, I really, uh, you know, uh, position myself as uh, the leader of the backstop. I've always chose the tough the tough opportunity. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I, my first job actually was my own job. I decided to, at 25 after graduating from UNC, to uh, start a, a small business, to start a sporting goods store. A sporting goods store, 25 years old. Take a, a loan out from the bank and start from zero. That's hard. <laughs> That was hard, and I did it for five years, and uh, I felt that I succeeded, not monetarily, but I succeeded in staying uh, in business. I don't think I'll ever retire first off, uh, but uh, that's my home. I also have a home, actually, a uh, physical home in Wyoming. Uh, Colorado is also a, a second home, but Wyoming, Hawaii, and believe it or not, Arizona, so I have some options. But I don't know about retirement. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs>